recording. Am I even in focus? I don't know. I haven't used this webcam in so long. We'll find out. <laughs> All right, Logitech, be good to me, please. Sure. Katie, when are you going to show us your island? Katie, release your dream address. Face reveal, Katie. Katie, can we have emotes on your channel? Oh my gosh, y'all and your demands, I swear. In all seriousness, hey y'all, it's Katie. Welcome back to my Animal Crossing New Horizons channel and island tour today. Oh my God, it's of my island. This is a big one. You guys, we have a few announcements beyond just releasing my dream address, beyond showing you guys Calico, beyond showing you what I look like. I'm also opening channel memberships on my YouTube channel here. And if you guys want, you can join. I have some really, really cool emotes and loyalty badges. The designers knocked it out of the park. I'm obsessed with them. With that said, absolutely no pressure to join. It is just one tier membership, but the fact that you're just here viewing this video means so, so much to me. So no obligation to participate in the membership program. That's just for those who want access to emotes or loyalty badges that will appear next to their name in comments or in chat whenever I live stream at some point. They will happen. They will also be fueled by this, I am pretty sure. Okay, I think it's time. Let's dive right on into it. Okay, this is so odd. <laughs> it is very weird doing my little dance on my own airport, looking at my own flag. But you know what, here we are, it's time. I'm so excited to show you guys Calico. Um, yeah, I, I don't even know how to start this. I feel like this is second nature to me when I do and tour someone else's island, but for me, no idea. My mind is blanking. You guys will see on the screen on the bottom left-hand corner that we are in the month of August. I wanted my island to be set in the late, or I guess it would be mid summertime, mid to late summertime, specifically because the hyacinth bushes I wanted to be blooming, which you guys will see a ton of on my island. Also my flag, this was designed by the lovely Georgia. She's also known as Cozy Oak on, Inst not on Instagram, on Twitter. I will make sure to link her below. I am obsessed with this flag. She knocked it out of the park. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. It's everything I wanted and more, so. Yeah, okay, again, I don't really, I feel so discombobulated conducting a tour on my own island, but here we are. Here is my map. Here we go, right? Oh, and the dream address is on the screen. Wow, here you are. Here's my own dream address. You guys can come and visit. I will also make sure to put it in the description box. Would love you guys to come and see my island um, at 5.30 p.m., which is when it's set, which is also when we're touring this island. So that way you have that golden hour-esque feel, which is my favorite time of day. That and super early in the morning, like 5.30 a.m. and then 5.30 like p.m. are my favorite. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy Golden Hour. Um, also the album Golden Hour is incredible if you guys are Casey Musgraves fans. Anyway, so you will notice I do have two houses here. I have myself and then I have my boyfriend Kyle's house. He doesn't play Animal Crossing. I made him an account so I could have two houses. I'm sure a lot of you out there understand and are in similar predicaments. <laughs> and then for villagers, the one, the only, the love of my life. Sorry, Kyle, the love of my life. The best villager in the game. That is an objective opinion. I'm just kidding. It's obviously definitely a subjective opinion, but it's it's Bo. I love him. I found him on my first Nook Miles ticket ever. Uh, and, and he's never left and he never will leave quite frankly and then we have nan who is easily a second favorite of mine i think she's just so sweet a super underrated normal villager and i love her then we have sylvana who i just think is so pretty and so so sweet and julian favorite smug villager easily hands down he's so sassy and i love him uh, and then we have winnie who is i was about to use the word dark horse and i was like well she is a horse but she came onto my island relatively recently, and I think you guys are gonna really like the area I built for her. Uh, then we have Tad, another new one. I just needed a jock, and I really love Buck, but he and Winnie look so similar, so I went with Tad, because I really like his house. <laughs> That's pretty much it. And then we have Grizzly. You guys have seen a video of mine where I built him a fishing spot, so you'll see that in this tour. 
Then Agnes, she's probably my favorite sisterly villager out of everyone. Um, yeah, she and Tad kind of share a space, I'll show y'all. Then we have Pearl, who I love as a snooty villager, and then the sweetest little cub, Olive, the baby. Okay, I don't know, I, I guess here we are. Let's, uh, let's have at it. So, here is Calicove. Here is my entrance. My entrance is, oh, hey Grizzly, what are you doing, sir? My entrance is pretty um, natural, as you guys can tell. I absolutely love the moon. It is easily one of my favorite items in the entire game. I think it's just so pretty anywhere and everywhere it's used on any island. <laughs> so I had to incorporate it into my own and specifically my entrance. Also, I do have a little silo in the background just to kind of show you guys that there are farm elements and more natural elements to it. Yeah, and then you can see it kind of splits three different ways. Um, one way this sign indicates, of course, and then there are two other directions which we will explore now. I'm not gonna go this way quite yet. Oh my gosh, is Julian singing? Oh, he's mustering up the courage to sing. He's not quite singing yet. Also, that sweater looks so cute on him. Oh my gosh. All right. So I think we're gonna go to the right first. Let's go this way. So as you guys can see, I, I didn't, they're not hidden paths, they're all, oh, a balloon. They're obviously very much in plain sight, but I just wanted them to feel super nature-y, super cozy, super, insert adjective here that I use all the time. <laughs> Um, but obviously I do have those green and orange elements which are pulled from the character of Bo. I very much wanted to, to bring his personality, his character into the game. Now this area, if it looks familiar, it's because it is inspired by an area I was obsessed with on the island of Nixia where I conducted a, um, oh my gosh, that is so serendipitous she just signed on and is playing breath of the wild <laughs> like as i'm talking about her that is weird her name's emily um oh my gosh that is so crazy it's like law of attraction right there anyway she had an, an area on her island that had two inclines and then she had some jail bars kind of framing the inclines there's a picture of it on my instagram because i was so obsessed with it um clearly i didn't do two inclines i did do the jail bar element and i wanted at least one incline um but it leads to a hiking trail of mine but on her island I was just so inspired um, there's a lot of inspiration pulled from the tours that I've done on my own island I'm, I'm sure you guys can relate that's why I love island tours that's why I film them is because I'm just amazed at what comes out of people's brains and I'm like I want to do something kind of like that so yes if this looks even oh my gosh grizzly in the background just running he has the zoomies if this area looks familiar that's where it was inspired from and here we go let's go on up camera there we go <laughs> and then I will show you guys that area to the right in a minute now you will see a ladder here that is because this is a hiking trail that we're coming upon but before we do start climbing I have to point out the duck anytime I see a duck on eggs on another island I make a comment about it and so you know what I needed them too. I needed them too. So you'll see a lot of ducks, a lot of nests. <laughs> so this is the Calico of Hiking Trail. You will venture through this way. And it's a very narrow trail, but if you do follow this stone pathing, it'll take you in the right direction. Oh, baby Silvana, she's going fishing. <laughs> and it will take you to a view of my museum. So I'll get my camera out so we can see it a little bit better. But this is my museum. Uh, I'll show you guys how to access it, but I think it's best seen from this vantage point. So I wanted to show you guys here. My museum is super overgrown. I wanted it to feel almost not abandoned. That's the wrong word, but I wanted it to feel kind of spooky, very, very natural, very overgrown um, and totally different than any other part of my island that's very green. This one's very brown with lots of trees and a lot of green elements. But, yeah, that's where the museum is. Can you guys hear that little pitter-patter? If you do, it's my dog going up the stairs. <laughs> but that is where the hiking trail leads you. Just a little, 
a little view, a little museum view, a little blathers view. I wish you could leave the museum, the poor thing. He sleeps in there and everything. Okay, so let us continue. Also, you will see that I'm using a ladder. I do leave out a ladder for y'all and I will point that out when we get to resident services. Uh, so do not worry if you decide to visit via Dream Address, there is a ladder for you and there is also a little something else. Now this area is Bo's yard. This is his farm. Yard is such an understatement. It's his farm, Katie, it's his farm. So he has all of these lovely edibles over here and then he has some pumpkins he's growing and then we reach the actual the actual barn so this is definitely a farm to table inspired area um shannon very much inspired me to do this when she had this for eric on her island um it was a smaller area i wanted like a massive massive barn which is why you see this huge structure in front of you <laughs> but i was so inspired by her island um like her og island a while ago um and if you're not familiar with shannon she's also known as qb crossing on both instagram and she's an amazing twitch streamer and youtuber so again all links will be for these creators in the description box uh, same goes for Emily. She streams on Twitch and they're just icons and the nicest people in the world. So this was super inspired by um, by Shannon's original creation for Eric. Um, I really liked the concept because I knew I wanted Bo to have a farm, but giving him also just a little dining area and maybe a cute little photo op spot I thought was precious. So that is this area and his massive barn. This thing was tricky to make because I had to use that fourth level glitch that's in the game, but it, I'm really happy with how it turned out. This is probably one of my more favorite areas on the island. <gasps> Balloon, okay. Now, if we follow the path back this way, it takes us to Miss Sylvana's house, but more than just a house, this is her vineyard. Y'all saw the wine earlier? I, I had to do it. I had to. I thought it was gonna be for Pearl for a really long time. I really did. I thought Pearl was gonna be with the one with the vineyard because she's snooty. I thought maybe she was like posh um, in that sense, but I just really like Sylvana's exterior and I, I don't know, it ended up here instead. <laughs> so Sylvana gets the vineyard. Um, but more than just the actual vineyard itself, I did put a little wine tasting spot right here. So you can come and sit. This would also be a really pretty area to stargaze if Celeste was around, but I liked how it was beachfront or oceanfront. It reminded me of some places in Malibu or Santa Barbara where you can conduct tastings, but also um, see the ocean. So yeah, I was inspired there. So how cool would it be to have like a wine tasting place outside of your back door? I mean, Silvana has goals. Is goals, not has goals. Oh my gosh, I'm showing my age. <laughs> has goals. No, is goals. Silvana is goals. Jesus, oh my God. Okay, onward. <laughs> I'm just gonna stop talking. So we were here earlier. I'm gonna take a right so I can show you guys how to get to the museum. But before we do that, Hello, little camper. I'm sure a lot of y'all have seen the different ways to make campers. Um, Ninten Talk, aka Pat, he, or I guess Pat, aka Ninten Talk, he did a video with some really fun custom designs with the campers, and I knew I needed one in my life. So there's that, and I will show you guys the beach over there in just one second. Hello, Bo. Hi, my love. You just fishing? I hope you catch it. So this is how you get to the museum if you guys want to actually go to the museum itself, this is how you would do so. Ta da But, you know, I prefer just the view from above. <laughs> oh my gosh, Bo's so cute, I can't. I love him, okay. So, here's that camper like I was talking about. And then if we sneak to the side here, I have like a little, well, a tent for, for people that might be visiting as well and then this is like a little drum circle a little music area it's very hippie-ish very you know I don't know 
It's a drum circle. <laughs> I really love the festival items and I wanted to incorporate them more. You'll notice too, my beaches are like really chill, lots of weeds, mostly picked flowers. Like my beaches are not, like this whole part's like super empty right here, but they're very, very um beachy, you know? Just like bring your towel, hop in and swim. I wanted them to be, Julian again. Oh, I love them. This is like my favorite thing that they do whenever they just, they're not singing, but you can tell they're like, oh, now he's singing. Such a cutie. You know what? I need to react. Where did my clap reaction go? You can't not clap. Oh, there it is. Oh my gosh, she doesn't even care. Hello? Hello? What is happening? There we go. You always have to clap when they're singing. <laughs> also, here's my movie theater. I have a speed build of this as well. Very, very small details of it have changed. But here's my movie theater, my outdoor cinema. This was inspired by the island of Callisto. It was, uh, it's actually, I think, the most popular island tour I've ever done on my channel. And I was so obsessed with the outdoor cinema that I said, I need one. So here we are. I made my own version and yeah, I really, really love it. I love the outdoor cinema. So that is the right side of the island. If you go this way, <laughs> It takes you back to my airport entrance. So now we will go to the left. Everything you own in the box to the left. Okay. So if you go to the left from the airport, it will bring you directly to resident services. So I will show, oh, Leaf's here, my boy. Oh my gosh, hello. So if you guys wake up from a dream address tour that you are conducting, you will see that there is a ladder here and also a present. Obviously, it's not something you can keep with you. Dream address tours or visits don't let you keep items that you interact with. But it's something I think anyone that is familiar with my channel will appreciate and love. And if you have guesses for what it is, let me know. It's not the sink. I know y'all are thinking it's the sink. It's not. <laughs> but I thought about putting the sink in there. <laughs> so if you go, instead of going over the bridge, which we will do. If you see this little sign, it'll take you to Tad and Agnes's little Zen garden. I know they are very much not like Zen characters <laughs> at all. They're probably the opposite. Um, but I wanted an area with bamboo and they, quite frankly, they were the ones that were left. <laughs> Is that terrible? <laughs> So I did give them little garden areas where they're growing some orange hyacinths and tulips and lilies, but this is their little yard. Oh, that's a terrible angle, but this is their little yard right here. I just wanted to give them kind of a private space, you know, maybe Tad's doing some yoga. Adnes, she just needs to chill, quite frankly, you know? So I figured I'd give her a little zen area. I actually do really like Agnes's yard, especially looking at it from this angle. I actually do quite enjoy it. Something about the waterfalls and the yucca plant and the bamboo, it, it all does kind of work, huh? And again, beaches, super natural. Just got some weeds, we've got some flowers over here. Nothing too crazy. So that is how you get to those homes if you were curious, but that's the only thing there. Now let us, what is Grizzly thinking? You're not leaving. So this is one of my favorite parts of the island as well. Once you cross this bridge, you will see a little dock. And as you approach it, you will slowly discover that our campsite is back there. And if you're curious, yes, I did set the dream address, like I said, today, like literally today. So you will see a, um, a camper in there. Who it is, I actually don't know. Well, I guess we could find out. I have no idea who's in there. So yeah, I guess we'll do that in this video too. Why not? <laughs> um, I knew I wanted a lake, but I didn't want a massive one. I wanted one where you could still see across. So this is the concoction I came up with and I'm really happy the way that it turned out, especially with the trees in the back. Yeah, this is one of my favorite parts on the island, is Lake Calicove. So 
as we continue across the bridge, we'll just follow the path right here and it brings us to our shopping district. I didn't do anything crazy with Abel Sisters. I just said, you know what, let your talent shine through. And I just put one little mannequin out here. Um, also, any of the custom designs that you either see my villagers wearing or that are on mannequins or that are on the interiors of houses, all of those again will be in the description box. And here is my Nook's Cranny. I do have them right next to one another. And then as you pass Nook's, you will see just like a little area right here. You have a little bike rack, you have a record stand for KK, and you know, there's a, there's a bridge moment happening somewhere in here. <laughs> you also know that I have a lot of weeds planted everywhere. I wanted it to feel pretty overgrown, but not to the point where they're blooming quite yet. But yeah, I really like putting weeds everywhere. And then I'm gonna go, oh wait, no, I'm gonna go this way. <laughs> yeah, again, not me, not me getting lost on my own island. <laughs> so this, if we follow the path this way, it takes us to Pearl's Orchard. I really like orchards in Animal Crossing. I love the fruit trees. I think they're so, so stunning. And I wanted to give Pearl her own little orchard. I felt like her house just looked really pretty with them. So this is kind of what I came up with. And here is her home. Oh, this sunset is so pretty. Balloon. And again, beaches. So, oh, hello DIY. I will grab you, please. So my dock is like teeny tiny, you know? So we got a little picnic area and some fishing rods, nothing too, too much. Uh, and I, you know what, let's just go ahead and go all the way back here. I'll show you this entire beach before we continue on. So I have just a little area where you can lay out over here, but as we continue on, this is a really special area for me. It is a monarch beach. Uh, monarch butterflies are one of my favorite animals. There's a lot of symbolism with them coming into strength through struggles. Um, like if you were to cut open a monarch butterfly from its cocoon, it would die. Like it needs to struggle and, it, and find its way out in order to even survive and fly, which I think is just such a beautiful metaphor for so many people in life. And also this area reminds me of a place in central California um, where monarch butterflies just thrive there. And um, I wanna say it's October through February and it's all next to a beach. So this is my monarch beach. Just a little special area for, really just for me. And then back here, oh God, here it is. If you saw the video right before this one, you know what this is. <laughs> this is the Bunny Day horror movie set. Uh, if you are very confused, I participated in a challenge with Lex Play, EJ Plays, and Life of Ness, where we were assigned three random Bunny Day items and we had to incorporate them into a build, which is evil and terrible, but we all did it. So I was assigned the Vanity, the Bunny Day Tree, and the Bunny Day Basket. And this is what I came up with. It is a Godzilla-esque type of film where Godzilla is trying to protect or reobtain the egg of their offspring. Anyway, yes, I did leave it in. I told you guys I would leave it in because it's so funny and absurd. <laughs> I had so much fun with that challenge and it truly was challenging. I mean, oh my goodness. It, it took me quite a while to figure out exactly what I wanted to make. So, oh, oh no, don't look up there. I'm giving it away. <laughs> We're about to see it like in two seconds. I don't even care. So that was Pearl's Orchard. And of course, then you saw Monarch Beach and then the movie set. So let's continue on this way. And another duck, of course. What's Pearl doing just like sitting outside of Nook's Granny? Hello. So if we go through our shopping district right here, it'll take us to a couple areas. And I think I'm gonna show y'all, I'm gonna show you leaves plant shop first. Again, this was a speed build that I did and some of it has changed, but very, very little. I mean like minor, minor details. So this is for Leaf, which is so convenient because he is on the island today. Here's his little plant shop. 
And then right next to it, a lot of y'all said, put just like a little picnic, a little tea area. So that's what I did. And just filled it up with some trees, some flowers. This is a fun view too with the, the campsite in the background. That's kind of fun. Hello. That is so fun. Okay. So his shop is kind of its own standalone cliff right here. And then this is Olive's apiary. It looks quite different from the bee farm that I actually put up on YouTube as a speed build. It's much, much smaller, um, but I still quite, quite like it. I think it looks really, really nice. And if you do want to access the actual campsite, all you would do is go directly through here and that's how you get to it. So if you wanna see the details as to the items I did put this way, that's how you get there, it's just through Olive's apiary. It's kind of a little hidden, hidden area. And just out of curiosity, let's see who's in here. I'm quite, quite intrigued. Hmm, that's weird. I don't see, I don't see a villager in here. That's so odd, must be a glitch, bye. <laughs> okay, onward. <laughs> So let's go up this incline that I passed a second ago. It's this first one on your left after going through the shopping district. And this is going to take you to a little area um, that I actually quite love. Okay, so going through here, if you follow the brick path, it takes you to Winnie's house. And Winnie, uh, she wants to be a pop star. She wants to be a superstar. So I gave her her own karaoke bar, which we will look at in just one second. But here's the exterior of her house. Super simple, just in front. She, you know, has a bale of hay because horses. And then I gave her a karaoke bar. So you can come here. There's different albums right there in the stalls. You can grab yourself a drink, get yourself, you know, all comfy with singing and then sing yourself some tunes. <laughs> this is one of my favorite builds. Um, I meant to put a speed build version of this on YouTube, but honestly, I changed it so much I ended up scrapping the footage. Um, but this is the final result. Lots of stalls, lots of simple panels. These are the din desks turned backwards. And then of course, the lights. And then this is where your friends can sit and watch you sing. <laughs> yeah, I really like Winnie's karaoke bar. I think it's fun. So let's continue this way. I'm sure a lot of y'all saw this land bridge moment back here. So let's, uh, let's go through it. <laughs> So this land bridge, it, it there's not much on it, but I really, really like the view of all the trees and the waterfall. And I love land bridges. I just think they look so nice. And this actually brings us to Kyle's house, which also I call the magical tree house of Calico because as you guys can see right here, this is where you should take out that ladder. And I made him a little tree house up here. There's a library. You can scoot right on through this way and sit down and read a book. So I wanted this to feel almost like an extension of the actual house and have it be like a tree house. Also, speaking of glitches, this glitch right here, not the tree branch, <laughs> um, planting trees on in-game pathing. Awesome glitch, especially for something like tree houses. And if you guys want to know how to do that, Console Kato made an amazing video on it. That's exactly how I learned how to do it. Knock, knock. So I'll show you guys the inside of the magic tree house, AKA Kyle's house. <laughs> So here is this first room. I wanted, 
I wanted this house to not feel like a house. I wanted it to feel magical and, and whimsical. So this first room is jungle themed. I wanted it to just feel woodsy and kind of crazy and like, whoa, what did I just walk into? A house or, or a teleportation tunnel? So that is why this room is very, very jungly. And essentially every room in this house is whimsical in that sense. So I'm showing you guys the fun house first. <laughs> Also, it took so long to get this many plants. I don't know how people do it. It's so much time traveling, but all worth it. <laughs> so let's go to the left room first of the tree house. And here we are at an arcade. I actually asked Kyle, like I said, he doesn't play Animal Crossing, but I said, hey, like what, what should I put in your house? I'm kind of stumped for ideas. And he said, an arcade and an indoor swimming pool. So I was like, all right, noted. <laughs> so here's the arcade. And speaking of the others, here's the indoor swimming pool. <laughs> this one was actually really, really fun to make. This is a custom code right here. And then this is just the water flooring. So I'm definitely not in beach attire or pool attire, but you know, you can come here and swim. But I also wanted this indoor pool to feel, again, like super whimsical and kind of crazy. So I wanted it to feel like one of those rare, like underwater pools that you see in some crazy, you know, houses that are on YouTube and where they're like submerged underwater and yet it's still inside. Does that make sense? Do you guys know what I mean? That's what I tried to go for here. Something about this room just smells like chlorine to me. I don't know about y'all, but I just smell the chlorine. And then this back room, I actually quite like the way that it turned out. This back room is meant to be a dig site. I kind of wanted to give a little ode to Blathers or, I don't know, I guess anyone that really enjoys just the elements of the game, like digging up fossils or having them assessed, you know? Even just digging up things like iron or farming for rock materials. I kind of wanted this room to feel that way. Also, it's really fun to just put the T-Rex head somewhere. So, a win-win. Right now, let's go. Oh, we're gonna go upstairs first, for sure. You'll see why in a second. It's a bowling alley. <laughs> so yeah, I, I wanted to make a bowling alley. Um, that's really it. I'll make sure again to put the codes for like the pins and all of that in the description box. So we have a bowling alley here. The little balls are actually the pit seed. Pit, pit fall seeds, pit seed falls. You guys know what I'm talking about. But I thought it'd be fun to have a little bowling alley. I'm gonna go this way now so you don't see the exclamation point on the quote unquote bowling balls. Um, yeah, then we have a jukebox and a little billiard station. Of course the TVs are supposed to represent the scoreboards that bowling alleys have, but I had to also drop some shoes, you know, bowling alleys, people usually don't bring their own shoes. They usually rent them, so. Yay, a bowling alley. That's probably one of my more favorite interior builds. I just thought it was fun, kind of quirky. And the basement, which I like a lot. <laughs> so this basement is, okay. The basement was gonna be like a subway station, but the more I was building it, the more I really liked how eerie just this was. I just thought it was super eerie. I really liked the map. I liked the rain in the background. 
But as I'm sure some of you already see, it is a working telephone booth teleportation kind of room, you know. And this takes you to a part of my island that you actually cannot access any other way than by the warp pipe. It's behind the museum. It's just this very bare rock. There's nothing on it. But I figured, hey, it's a really great spot for stargazing. Because there aren't too many other ports on my island where you can do that, except maybe Julian's house, which we'll check out in a bit. So I figured it would be fun to just have a little quiet rock that you can only access through the magical tree house's basement. And that's the magical tree house. I had a lot of fun designing it. I just wanted those fun rooms and you guys will see my house is very much like a normal house. Um, but this one was just fun. Like it's a tree house. Let's make the rooms crazy, right? And onward, we will go back across the land bridge. Oh, I love the sunset. It's just so pretty. And then I showed you Olive's apiary right here. And then if we go up, you'll also recognize some of these next locations. Actually, you'll recognize all of these next locations if you follow my channel. First one being Nan's outdoor library. If you guys have seen the speed build of her outdoor library, um, then you will recognize this for sure. She sent me a little note in the mail. You know how villagers can send you mail. And she said, wouldn't it be so cool to live in a library or a house just full of books? So I wanted to bring that to her reality, which is right here. I love Nan so much, she's so sweet. And then if we go over here and take this down incline, it will bring you to Grizzly's yard. Grizzly has a fishing spot, one, because he's a bear, you know, they, they eat fish, but I wanted him to have the most kind of secluded spot. And I wanted it to feel like really natural, which is why there's like weeds everywhere. Cause you know, he's a cranky villager. He, he needs his space. So this is his little yard. Very, very simple. Also, you'll notice I did leave my rocks um, naturally spawning. I didn't do a rock garden. I have in the past and I, I ended up destroying it, but Grizzly gets two rocks. <laughs> And then if you come back this way, this is where his actual like fishing market and fishing station is, which I really, really like. Again, one of my favorite parts of the island. And here is his dock where he can come and fish. And this area is super pretty at sunset, if I do say so myself. what better way to utilize these back rocks than give Grizzly his own spot. Also, that fish is like eyeing me. He's like, I have been in this cage for months. Let me out or eat me, you know? So that's Grizzly's little yard. And then here we are at Julian's. Julian's astrology yard. Again, you guys probably saw a speed build of this. <gasps> Lily of the Valleys, I need to move those. Well, two spawned right there. That's exciting. That is exciting. Uh, yes, my, my island is a five-star island. It actually happened recently. I was like, I almost cried. It was very, very exciting. Exciting times. Here is Julian's astrology yard. Really like the only super whimsical part on my island, but I still wanted it to kind of match which is why I have like the mossy rocks kind of doubling over the in-game pathing. Yeah, I like this area. It's totally different. Also just tons of star fragments kind of dropped everywhere, but. <laughs> you guys are still hanging with me 
comment down below on what you think my next island should look like. It'll still be called Calicove. I'm gonna keep the name. But if you think I should do multi-theme, if you think I should do all farm, if you think I should do, um, I don't know, like jungle core or fairy core or something like really urban, let me know what you think I should do. I'm curious to see what you guys think. And then here we are at my house. And uh, the reason I was surprised by the Lily of the Valleys up there is I thought I had gotten them all and put them all here. Cause I wanted them to be next to my house, you know? It was like, it's like a trophy in a way. Um, but clearly I missed two of them, so. But this is where my house is, in the back corner. And my yard is relatively simple. I mean, I do have that tiny little flower area, um, some trees, but nothing too crazy, you know? I tried to keep it just simple, on par with the rest of the island. And before we go inside, I guess I will show you back here. I did put my house close to the secret beach because I wanted to pretend like I had a beach, you know? Like it was my own. And on my secret beach, I put a little tent, a ukulele, and donuts. It's kind of like a perfect combination, right? Donuts, music, camping, a beach. So yeah, that's my secret beach right there. The only downside I will say if you do something like this is when Red is here, I have to pick up the tent. I, there's no way to walk around. Just kind of a bummer, but you know, tents are meant to be collapsed and expanded, so it's okay. And yeah, now I'll show you guys my house. Let's go on in. So here is my living room, uh, slash kitchen. It would be both. I obviously really like dark tones. I really like plants and greenery. Um, but this rug is like one of my favorites in the game. I think it's so fun. I do have a little TV up there, um, as well as a long sofa. But yeah, I just gave myself a simple kitchen. None of the rooms are kitchens. You'll also notice I use the bookcase to block off that right room. Um, that's because it's the only room that I just didn't finish and couldn't really figure out what to do. But if I ever update it, I will let you guys know. But this is my living room slash kitchen. <laughs> and I guess I'm gonna show you guys the back room first. This is like an OG room. If you guys are, are recognize this room, you have been following my channel for a long time because it was one of my first videos. This is my Hollywood trailer inspired walk-in closet. So all of these custom designs to the creators for them, I will put in the description box if you like the clothes hanging up. But I wanted this room to be like a walk-in closet where I could come and get ready, get dressed, sit by the fire, you know, almost like a trailer would feel. And I haven't changed it like since that day. I'm still so obsessed with all of the designs that people have created, which is why they're hanging on my walls. And then I have this little, little vanity where I can come and uh, put my face on. <laughs> so that's the closet room. And now to the left. This is, well, you'll see. We're literally walking into it right now. <laughs> This is my bathroom. Yep, there it is. There's the sink. Uh, this is uh, probably the newest or at least most recently completed room of mine. And I really like the way that it turned out. I wanted the bathroom to feel like really cozy, which is why there's an actual furnace in it. <laughs> um, there's also the duck and the butterflies and I wanted it to feel almost like a tropical rainforest, but interior design styled, you know. So yeah, that's the bathroom and my sink that I love so much. I love you. Bye. OK, 
Okay, I'm gonna show you guys my bedroom first. Uh, the upstairs is my bedroom, and uh, probably one of my favorite rooms in the house. So if you guys are ever curious, like, you know what? Katie conducts these island tours, and they're usually dream address tours. Where does she sleep? Well, I highly doubt any of y'all are thinking that, but if you are, this is where I come before I record my videos, because I have to lay down on my bed. Also, there's a dog. He looks nothing like my dog in real life, but I had to have him. But yeah, this is my room. Lots of green and brown. Not really a shock to anyone, probably. But I love this. This is another one of those rooms where like, after I finished it, I really didn't touch it. I was like, yep, that's it. No moss. And then now for probably my favorite room ever in my house, the basement. Can you guys guess? Do you guys know what it is? If you know, put it in the comments. No cheating, but put your guesses. <laughs> it's a wine cellar and a wine tasting room. You know, had to. I had to in a basement. Oh, that would be the dream to have your own basement just like full of like different types of wines from different places. Then you have a separate area where you can sit and listen to some music. Oh, I might like, come on. I had to. Also, I built this before uh, the December update happened, whenever they gave these little sparkling ciders. So originally I didn't even have these little glasses, but since that update, it was like perfect. Gotta add them. <laughs> so yeah, my little wine bar. So if you ever come, you can, you know, get yourself a little drink or you can play bartender, you know, pretend to be the bartender. <laughs> or sommelier, I guess, more so than a bar. I should not call them a bartender. It's like a psalm. <laughs> and y'all, that's my house. Yeah, I feel so like vulnerable showing my own island. Um, I will say, you guys, my island pales in comparison to the islands that I tour on my channel. And, and like I've referenced many times, I get so inspired by what other people create. And I, I hope that's why you guys enjoy watching my channel. If you do enjoy watching the tours that I conduct, it all credit goes back to the people that have played the game and made the creations that they've made. Simple as that. I'm, I'm just so floored with what other people end up creating and, and doing in this game. and. It is such a treat to be able to share their creations with y'all and and be able to, to get their permission to, to share what they do. And showing you guys my own island, I fully now understand that like that it takes some vulnerability. It takes some guts to kind of show off what you're doing and what you're creating. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed Calicove. I am curious to know if it's what you expected or if you were like, yep, nailed it. That's exactly what I thought you would create. Or if you thought it would be something totally different. I don't know. Um, yeah. I don't know what else to say. Well, you guys, I think the way that we shall end this is the way we do as any tour. <laughs> If you guys are curious as to what I'm going to be doing in the game now, I'm still going to be conducting island tours. I'm still going to be doing speed builds. But one thing I really want to do is finish my museum. And then once I do that, I'm going to restart my game completely. So access the dream address whenever you can. Because I want to start from scratch. I want to enjoy those early days of fishing and, uh, you know, unlocking terraforming. And then I want to start a new island that is inspired by what you guys want me to create. So let me know what kind of island you want to see me create. Um, any kind of insight would be super helpful. And that's that. If you're interested in becoming a member of my channel, absolutely feel free to do so. But again, I'm just so happy that you're here watching. And if you made it to the end, let me know. This is so fun. You guys, I love each and every one of y'all. I hope you're having an incredible day, no matter where you are in this whole world. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.